Daniels here, your backyard biologist. Go get outside! Today on Backyard Biology, we're going to make seed bombs from recycled paper. Seed bombs are non-invasive seeds that are encapsulated in either soil, paper, or clay, which can then be launched into an inaccessible areas. They may aid in erosion control and add diversity to a local ecosystem. The materials you need include non-invasive seeds, recycled paper, water, an old blender, and this is optional, either mold or cookie cutters. You can use just about any material as a substrate. In this case, I use paper, clay cat litter, and paper towels. First, rip paper into small pieces and soak overnight. The next day, add twice as much water as paper and then blend into a pulp with an old blender. Drain the pulp into a colander in order to remove the majority of the water. The first demo is made with recycled Valentine's Day flyers, hence the pink color. In this instance, I placed a layer into the bottom of the silicone mold and I removed the excess water with the aid of a dry sponge. I then placed a couple of seeds on top of the dry pulp. I then added another layer of pulp on top and used the sponge to remove the excess water. Leave the molds overnight to dry and then the next day carefully remove them. Use a skewer, a needle, or a drill to create a hole. For this demo, I'm using a cookie cutter on top of a dry sponge. I'm also using paper towels. So put in a layer of paper towel pulp, a layer of seeds, and then another layer of pulp on top. Carefully press it down to remove any of the excess liquid. Carefully remove your cookie cutter. Reshape as needed and then press out any excess water. You can make some homemade tags and then give the recycled paper seed bombs as gifts or favors. You can also make seed bombs using traditional recipes that use either air dry clay or clay cat litter. 78, 79, 80, 81. Hey, is Ms. Nichols here, your backyard biologist? Take a moment and get outside. Where was I? Oh. One, two, three, four, five.